Okay, so in this video, we're just going to have a, a look at how we might create a basic menu structure in a program in a Python program using functions. So it'll, the menu will look something along these lines here. It's not the best, but uh, it'll work. Uh, there are three options. Uh, we can do something good, which will call one function, something bad, which causes another, or we can quit. And then obviously we can return back to the main menu at any time. So the menu will need to be in a function. All right, so here we go. Um, I'll get rid of that and start from scratch. So the first thing is we need to define our main menu. So um, first thing is obviously getting the format right there. You can see the name of the function, the brackets, and the colon. And we're just going to print out our option, our menu option. So this is just printing. It's not input yet. So this is um, do something good. Uh, we need to do something bad. And finally, we should be able to quit the program. All right, so those are our three things. Then the next step is uh, the user selection. So what do they enter? So we're going to force that to be an integer. So it's going to be a one, two, or a three. And then our input. So whatever we want them to say, and I'm just going to put enter choice. OK. Um, and so that will take in whatever number the user wants to enter. Now we do a little if statement to check and see which one they entered. Now if they enter a 1, and remember it's a double equal sign in the condition, uh, then we are going to um, run the good function. Uh, else if the selection is set to 2, then we're going to run the bad function. Uh, else if the selection is equal to 3, um, then we're going to exit the program. And finally, if all of those fail, so we have an else at the end, uh, we're just going to say print um, invalid choice into one to three. Okay, and uh, then we might just recall the main menu. Okay, so just to see what that might look like uh, in our main routine, I'm just going to call that menu. Like so, if I run this now, we'll get our main menu up. Now, if I try and enter a five, for example. It says invalid choice, and it gives me those choices again. Uh, if I press a 3, it quits the program. And if I'd entered a 1 or a 2, it would have erred because we have not defined the good or bad functions yet. So that's our next step. So we'll define, DEF, uh, the good function. And I'll just give this visual feedback. I'm just going to print the word good. And uh, that'll do for that one. And we'll define the bad function. And we'll say print bad. So just again, so you get some visual feedback that it's actually working. So we'll save it and run it. And this time, you see, if I press a 1 to do something good, this should call the good function. And you can see it prints out the word good. So we know that bit is working. Uh, however, you notice, though, um, it doesn't give the user the chance to go back to the main menu. So we should probably build that in. So here we are in the, uh, the um, good function. We're going to say... Uh, Something like, I'll call it any key. We're just going to use an input. So it's input, um, enter anything to return to main menu. And then remember the way input works is that text will be displayed and the cursor will just sit there um, flicking, waiting um, for the user to enter something. So as soon as you press enter, the next line of code will um, be run. And so in that case, that's going to be our main menu. So I'm just going to do that in the bad function as well. Save that and run it. And this time, it's going to be a bit hard to see, so I'll just rerun the shell there. Uh, if I go to do something good, it says good, so it's running it right, and enter anything to return to my menu. If I press enter, back it goes. If I press 2 for bad, there we are. I can type in anything I want, but as soon as I press enter, back it goes. And 3 to quit. Perfect. So that's a basic menu structure where you can move back and forth between uh, menu, or back and forth between functions, and um, it's a good start. However, we do have the issue if the user does not enter a one, two, or a three, and uh, currently, if they enter another number, they're told that's wrong, and the main menu is recalled. However, we do need to deal with that extreme case where a user decides to type in a word. Because right now, what will happen is if I type in some text here. The program fails and that's because it's expecting an integer and we're not getting that. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to use the try command, which means we do need to select all this stuff here and just tab that in. And um, line up with that, except um, the value error. So we're going to now dictate the error. We're going to say print invalid choice into one to three. And so now what will happen if we run this is we can control that error. So if I do press some random text here, when we press enter, oops, instead of the red error where Python fails, we've now controlled the value of that error. Unfortunately, our program has ended. So we need this thing is to actually go back and ask them again to enter their choice. And the way to do that is to put this whole try and accept code inside a while loop. So if we start a while here with the condition being while true, so this will continue to go until we break out of it. We tab all of that in one, so select it and press tab. This will loop over and over forever until we break out. So you can see here, um, if we want to quit now, I don't actually want to run exit in there because it, it won't do anything. This um, while loop will keep going. What I want to do is break out of that loop and then down here, and my cursor is lined up with the, um, the while, that's when we exit the program. So this loop will run, um, if we press a 3, it will break out of the loop and we'll exit. Um, what else do we need to do? Let's have a look here. Oh, yes. Um, other things is because we're inside a loop, after we've called each of these functions, we should really break out of this one particular loop. Otherwise, it will loop and loop and loop and get quite messy. So we now have the function followed by break. And so, oh, hang on, too low, we'll rerun the shell. Here we go. So if I do something good, I can enter to return back to the main menu. I can do something bad. Um, if I enter some incorrect text, it tells me it's invalid. So I can now enter two and it still does bad. And still running down the bottom there somewhere. There it is. If I press a three, it quits the program. So there you have it. We now have a, a menu structured program that has some relatively robust error catching there with this um, try and accept. So uh, there you have it. And don't forget down the bottom, the program, the only code in the main routine is calling the main menu, which is that first function.